Hi, I'm Jim Schneider, Editorial Director of Plumbing Engineer and PHC News, here with Paula Bo, the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for JoSam, and 27-year uh, veteran of uh, JoSam, correct? 27 years. Who would have thought, Jim? Um, you know, I still to this day, I have a daughter that's 10 years old, and I can't believe it. She'll go into the bathroom, and she'll come out, and she'll say to me, Mom, there's not a Joe Sam drain in that bathroom. <laughs> but, um, you know, when you work for good people, you stay with good people. And um, that is the reason I am where I am today for 27 years. And so clearly, you don't stay a place that long unless you're being treated well, unless you're part of something, you know, that's that's positive. And so can you talk a little bit about what that's like as, for you and other in Joe Sam employees? I can. And, you know, when, when you come to Joe Sam Company, you don't come as an employee. You know, it's a family-owned business, and you eventually become part of the family. And that is also conveyed with our sales representatives. Um, when you're on this team, it is a team, and it's a family team. Um, you know, and I, I work, and I always have worked. I worked for the current owner's father when he bought the company out of bankruptcy. And that alone, it's been a pleasure to be a part of this company since inception in 87 and uh, see what's been done with the company and to play a role in it. Um, it it's nice. And, um, you know, I, I, I work for people that truly value what their employees do for them, and they realize they wouldn't be where they are today without employees. Um, give you an idea, I, I think you talked to Scott earlier, and, and what Scott didn't tell you is when his parents bought the company, they bought the assets of this company, not the liabilities. Um, therefore, they did not have to pay off mm -hmm. some of the, ven the vendors that had not been paid through the bankruptcy. And um, his dad did. His dad made every vendor whole when he bought this company, and he didn't have to do it. His dad paid bonuses to the employees when he, from the day one when he bought this company. Um, you know, they're, they're just, it, it's rare. I mean, and, and the other nice thing, I work for Scott now, and, um, you know, I travel. I work with our sales force. If I have a problem, I go into Scott and I tell him the problem and I get a look that isn't a look of confusion. It's a look that he understands my problem because he's so active in this business. You know what? He just made that sales call last week and had the same exact problem. That's nice and I, you know, a lot of people don't get that when you have these levels of management till you get to an owner. Um, I don't have that and it's really a pleasure whether I have a personal problem, a problem with the business, I knock on his door and it's never closed. Come on in. That's nice. It is, and, and it was clear, uh, again, even on the tour, that, you know, Scott has obviously been a part of this business from the ground up and knows everything that's out there. Like, he was showing us the product. He was, he knows the people. I mean, I think there's an engagement there that, that I think is pretty special. There is, you know, and as a matter of fact, sometimes I'll listen to him on the phone if he's in whatever office and I'm beside him, and he has, like, a parts book open, and he's identifying parts for a guy that called him on the phone, and I'm kind of, Scott, what are you doing? That guy needs this part, and I have to help him get there. And, uh, you know, and I think our reps feel it. He's very approachable. Um, he has a son coming into the business now who I truly enjoy working with. Um, you know, when Scott told me Junior was coming over and he was going to report to me, you know, there was that bit of apprehension. I have the owner's son reporting to me, and um, it's been a pleasure. The, um, Scott Junior is a very respectable young man. Um, he realizes he has a lot to learn in this industry. It's not a beat on the chest, I'm the owner's son, and you'll do what I say. It, it is, couldn't be further from that. Um, and he's young, and he has refreshing ideas that are going to help this company continue to grow, and I'm as excited as all hell about it. That's great, and, and I think there, there is an attitude of much more of responsibility than of entitlement, for sure, in the family ownership, I think. Like, there is a real responsibility to the business to the employees and and i think you sense that in sort of the team atmosphere that's out there absolutely and i mean that goes from i can remember scott jr when he would come work in the warehouse in philadelphia they worked their summer their summers there as did senior when his father was the rep um, and they had a pipe valve and fitting house i mean um, my mom worked for the pipe valve and fitting house then and she told me scott senior would come and work in the warehouse um, you know, these guys learned, and, and the nice thing about it is they've been in so many different aspects of the business. They've been a general contractor. They've been a mechanical contractor. Um, they've been a wholesaler. They've been a rep. They understand, you know, and try, and they are able to put themselves in everyone else's position when they make a decision. 
which is really nice. And, you know, being a young kid coming and working in this business, um, that's one of the things the Holloway family has taught me in management. Um, I always, whenever I make a decision, put myself on that, in that other person's position before I make that decision. And uh, that's invaluable. Any other thoughts you'd like to add? Uh, uh, perspective of the Joe Sam uh, team member? I don't want to say employee. Um, and, and you're right, because when you don't say employee, because, you know, even working for Scott, I never feel like I work for Scott. Mm -hmm. I feel like I work with Scott. Um, and I hope the people that work with me, my regional managers, feel the same way. I mean, he gets up and puts his pants on the same way everybody else does in the morning. And and he realizes that. That's, that's what's so impressionable I mean um, it really is and uh, you know those guys in the warehouse when he walks through and says hello how you doing Mr. Holloway and that means a lot to them and uh, no, that's like I said as we started this I you don't stay somewhere 27 years and like you said I'm not rare there are people that have been here longer than I have um, there are people I, I have to say probably the minimum is 10 years that people stay here if things aren't going well and you don't enjoy who you're working for, you don't stay somewhere that long. Absolutely not. That's very true. And, and thank you very much for taking the time to chat with us today. Thank you.